No more crappy jobs. <laughs> What's up guys? Today is the day. So I got a phone call last week and uh, the job that I've been waiting on in Colorado finally came through. So um, I spent the weekend kind of catching up with family and tying up loose ends, saying goodbye to some friends. And uh, now, so yesterday I did a little bit of cleaning in the trailer and uh, I got to finish off my uh, bed modification situation. So I'll show you that in a little bit, but just wanted to I guess kind of kick off the adventure west and what I'm doing today is basically getting everything cleaned up um, putting my Yakima box back on top and getting the car gutted I cleaned out the fridge in the RV I need to go get propane um, what else I gotta go get some staples from the grocery store so you know just all the little things to get ready for a journey um, I think I'm gonna split the trip up into three segments because last time I drove, I was trying to get to 70 miles an hour on the interstate, and it really just pushed poor baby blue. So um, this time, I think I'm gonna keep it around 50, 55 and try to up my gas uh, miles per gallon because it, it keeps the RPMs a lot lower when I stay at that 55 range versus pushing it up into 60, 70. And then I'm also gonna pit stop a couple of places along the way, so I think I'm not exactly sure, but I'm kind of thinking pit stop in Salina, Kansas, and then go Salina to Denver the second day, spend a night in Denver, maybe two, and then Denver to Steamboat Springs um, from there. So yeah, in case you, in case I didn't say anything about it, the uh, job location is going to be in Steamboat, and I'm really excited about that because it'll be, it's just a dream, it's a total dream of mine to find a job that that is year-round and not seasonal that I can actually live in the mountains so everybody knows from watching my stuff how much I love hiking and camping in Colorado and that area up north is one of my favorite places uh, of all time so I am so genuinely stoked to be going uh, up there for work it's just gonna it's gonna provide a lot of opportunity to make videos and camp and it all be in my backyard plus skiing and snowboarding in the winter so I'm super, super excited to start making some money so that I can reinvest in my car, my rig. Um, I gotta figure the winter out too. Like, I mean, I know what Colorado winter is all about, but it's um, six years I've always lived on the front range and lived in Denver. So I've never been in the mountains. Steamboat's at about 6,500 elevation. So it's not terribly higher than Denver, but um, it does get cold. So, you know, I don't know, we're, we're gonna see. It's gonna be one month in the camper before it gets balls cold and likely snowing. So I'm gonna talk to a lot of locals and see how realistic or not it is and also do a lot of scouting on campsites and where I can potentially park this thing. Because if I can get away at all with living in my RV, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So I know it's doable, it's just a matter of getting out there. But for now, I'm gonna focus on documenting the adventure and kind of the steps uh, I've taken in between. So when I get a chance, I'll, I'll take you inside and we'll look at the, the bed modifications. I thought it was a good idea to uh, get the oil changed. I stuck the dipstick in and my car showed no oil at all, which ah, I know it's not leaking, um, but I'm getting it pulled in and getting the oil changed and checked. And then we get hooked up with the free car wash. So a couple of things needed to get done anyways. Didn't really want to pay for it, but Better safe than sorry on a long road trip. So I'm gonna hang out, do some computer work. Right. Ah, I didn't even like make a point to talk about it this morning because I've kind of like put it out of my mind. But um, you know, I was able to quit that terrible job as soon as I got the news for my new gig. Just cut the cord. And uh, what's crazy about that is as soon as I let go and just trusted that everything was gonna be okay. Um, not only did I make, I, so money fell into my lap that um, I didn't expect and it was more than I would have made finishing out the rest of the week at that job. So I had a friend come through and just offered to help me out with a couple hundred bucks. I had um, a guy that I was working for who was super generous and paid me more than the time that I even gave. So all things considered, like, it's just amazing that that things happened to come through the way they did and that I was able to get enough cash 
to get me back to Colorado. So I've been super jazzed all day. Um, super, super busy. I thought I would be completely ready to rock by this evening, but I mean, things are a wreck right now. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I, I was been here all summer and I never took the time to like clean and gut my camper. So I've been washing all the dishes, just reorganizing stuff, sorting through what I'm going to take, what I'm going to leave. Um, it's a little bit bigger project than I initially thought it would be, but, um, but that's cool. So let me just show you state of the union. It's pretty rough. It's inside my car. Boom. Got a bunch of mess in there. I was able to go get some food. I got about a uh, 10 days worth of staples and I got my oil changed in my car. Um, what else? Got filled up with gas. I completed some tasks for my new job. Um, so here's inside the camper. Holy moly. Don't be, don't judge me. Um, it's kind of a wreck. I'm gonna flip the camera around. So where we're at, the only thing I'm really taking with me that I didn't have the first time is gonna be my toolbox. And there's no good place for it. So I got it stuck down here. Uh, I let go of some of my books and I took that countertop out so I lost some weight there. I do believe I'm going to have a little extra space in the outdoor compartment. Um, those are my seeds so hopefully I get some place for next spring I can start a garden. I've been collecting seeds for quite some time. And got my fishing tackle, my Vitamix blender and then I, I cleaned off, turn this light off, up here, I got rid of a bunch of stuff that was just kind of like dead weight. Um, I had a whole bunch of tea and herbs and just random stuff back there. So I consolidated quite a bit, cleaned up the clutter, and let's see what else. Food cabinet 2.0 is uh, probably actually bigger. I think it's probably more robust than before. And that's because I, I kind of beefed up my spices while I was here. And I've got uh, a bunch of herbs and different tea to keep me healthy during the winter. So, probably have a little bit more in there than last time. However, the center console drastically reduced. So, just got a couple of uh, plastic bins for like the super important stuff that I don't want to lose. Spare keys, stuff like that. And then, this is still storage for coats. Definitely going to need those. And then my uh, kitchen stuff, this is kind of getting revamped a little bit. So previously I had, up here was like uh, my bathroom stuff and what I'm going to do is stack it. So this is supplements and then up here will be my bathroom stuff. Um, got my pots and pans. I slimmed everything down. Um, I did trade a couple of the bowls I had for these mason jars. They're just more practical, easier to use. Um, and I've got one pot, one strainer cast iron which is getting cleaned and that's about it um, still trying to decide if I need these extra extra jars it's just like when you do food prep it's easier to put them in a jar and throw it in the fridge so um, I relegated my cappuccino machine to my folks I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the little tiny coffee maker it's just super easy like it fits up here in this cabinet really real nice so it's lightweight. It works. Um, what else? Stock the fridge up. Got a bunch of basics. Picked up some avocados, some olive oil, almond milk, apple cider vinegar, some greens, some butter, some almond butter, coconut oil, eggs, you know, stuff I can travel with. Lasts me about a week, 10 days or so. And then I am also working on consolidating my clothing. So pretty much the same as before. This is uh, boots and kind of odds and ends, tools and whatnot. My yoga roller, back popper, and then clothing up in here. Bathroom, oh God, I don't even want to look in there. I haven't touched any of this stuff since the summer, so I think I'm just gonna ditch most of it um, other than the toilet paper and whatnot because clearly I don't need it. And that's my camping bag is going to go back in underneath the seat so you can see I got a freaking mess on my hands but um I will wrap this up tomorrow morning and then we'll do a little uh kind of kickoff video on the way out 
once everything's all cleaned up and I've got things a little bit more situated. So, I do got to say, I'm getting super excited. It's one of those things where when I get this thing loaded up, I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm headed out, you know, on some kind of vacation, even though I'm going to work. Um, feels like I'm on vacation. That's what I'm after. Just trying to feel more free on the regular. So, oh, one more thing. Bad news on Baby Blue. Eh, good news, bad news. Um, I, I checked the oil with the dipstick and there was no freaking oil showing up. And I was like, that can't be right. So I went and got a change just in case. Turns out I do have an oil leak. I don't know how bad, but I gotta, I'm gotta. i gonna have to check it every, every couple of pit stops and make sure that everything's gravy. But I think once I get there, the most important thing is gonna be to put some money back so that I can really take care of my ride. It's kind of my lifeblood and um, I think that's the most important thing. So, all right, y'all, see you in the morning. Peace.